Hello friends, today we're going to learn about strawberries from farms in Europe. In this video, you'll learn how these fruits are cultivated, harvested, packaged and distributed to the various retail stores worldwide. We that hope these ripe strawberries are not making you crave. In this video, we'll look at mainly the hydroponic method of cultivating strawberries and a little about the traditional method. For your information, hydroponics is a modern method of cultivating plants without the use of soil. This innovative technique has gained popularity in recent years and has proven to be highly effective for growing a wide range of crops, including strawberries. Did you know about this method before? Let us know in the comment section below. In hydroponics, strawberries are grown in a controlled environment, such as a greenhouse or an indoor facility. The system begins with the setup of a hydroponic infrastructure, which includes various components like nutrient reservoirs, water pumps, growing trays or channels, and a means of providing artificial lighting. Seeds are planted with the aim of obtaining seedlings only and later on only qualified branches are planted in different trays on a soilless growing medium. Commonly used mediums include rock wool, cocoa coir, perlite, or expanded clay pellets. These materials provide support to the plant's root systems while allowing for adequate aeration and water retention. Hydroponic strawberries receive their required nutrients through a nutrient solution. This solution is a carefully balanced mixture of essential minerals and elements dissolved in water. The structure is also equipped with an automated irrigation system employed to deliver the nutrient solution to the plants at regular intervals. In addition, there's also environmental control systems to regulate temperature, humidity, and ventilation. Artificial lighting is used to supplement natural sunlight and provide the required amount of light for photosynthesis. In hydroponics, since there is no natural pollination by insects, artificial pollination methods are employed. This can be done using a small brush or by gently shaking the plants to distribute pollen. Some growers also introduce bumblebees to the growing area to facilitate pollination. Regular monitoring of plant health is essential in hydroponics. Growers check for signs of nutrient deficiencies, pests or diseases, and take appropriate action. Pruning and training techniques may be employed to manage plant growth and maximize fruit production. Additionally, the hydroponic system components, such as pumps and filters, require regular maintenance and cleaning. On maturity, hydroponic strawberries can be harvested throughout the year, as the controlled environment allows for extended growing seasons. 
When the strawberries reach their desired level of ripeness, they are carefully hand-picked to avoid damaging the delicate fruit. Hydroponic cultivation often results in higher yields compared to traditional soil-based methods thanks to optimized growing conditions and efficient nutrient delivery. After harvesting, the strawberries undergo sorting to remove damaged or unripe fruits. This process may involve manual sorting or the use of automated sorting machines. Once sorted, the strawberries are carefully packaged into various containers, such as clamshells, punnets, or trays. Packaging materials are designed to protect the fruit and maintain its freshness during transportation. Or the strawberries are taken to the factories for further processing to foods such as jam, juice, pies, ice cream, milkshakes, and chocolates. Let's also briefly look at the traditional method whereby the strawberry cultivation typically begins with selecting suitable land and preparing the soil. Farmers often choose well-drained soil with a slightly acidic pH. They may add organic matter and perform soil testing to ensure optimal growing conditions. Once the soil is ready, the strawberry plants are either grown from seeds or propagated from established runners. Farmers carefully plant the young strawberry plants, ensuring proper spacing for growth and air circulation. After planting, there will be a need to provide care, control the pests and diseases. Thereafter, there will be flowering and pollination. Bees and other pollinators play a vital role in the process. Farmers may introduce beehives or encourage the presence of native pollinators to ensure effective pollination. On maturity, just like in the hydroponics methods, the ripe strawberries will be harvested, packaged and made ready for distribution to different retail stores or supermarkets around the world. Watch the next similar video on your screen. We're sure you'll like it too. See you there.